Hey guys, welcome back to the Iraq Noob. Today I'm going to be going over how to um, take out the screen and cut and drill and attach some plastic sheet or some Lexan in its place. Uh, this helps protect the tarantulas from getting their feet stuck in the, the mesh. Um, I have had this happen. I've read about and heard of it happening often. And sometimes it can result in loss of leg or other injuries to the spider or even possibly death. So it's something that I always like to do. Um, typically I use, I will line up the holes using a ruler and put a mark where I want them all. I'm kind of OCD about it. I like having straight lines, everything in order. Uh, I also use a quarter inch drill bit. Now when drilling thin stuff like this, it's not as important to use an actual plastic drill bit. But anything thicker, be it like an AMAC box or thicker sheets of acrylic, I do recommend using a plastic or acrylic drill bit. It's got a different taper on the end. And if you can, it's probably not going to show up. But you can see the, the tip of here is kind of flat. This is a wood metal bit, kind of a, a generic bit. But the taper and the point on the plastic ones really make a big difference in they cause it, you know, they save you from chipping the acrylic, getting that build up on the back side. But anyways, let me not get distracted with that. First off, we need to get the screen out. So what I'm going to do with this is there's these little aluminum uh, black anodized um, like U-channel that's kind of stuck in here. So all I do is take a screwdriver and you just kind of start prying it out. There's you're going to end up with like eight pieces, I think, is how many there are. Uh, it is aluminum, so you can recycle it if you don't plan on putting it back, which I never plan on putting it back. But you just kind of work around and keep prying it up. I use just the tip sideways and pry it up and then just kind of work it back so I don't break any of the, the plastic framing. All right, now that we've got all those out, now it's time to push the screen out. Now usually you can find a weak spot where the, it's not glued as well. That's usually what I start looking for and start trying to push it out. Right there. Um, that's just part of manufacturing that not everything is perfect, especially when they're mass produced like this. And you just keep working that around. Um, you will end up with some pieces that'll still be glued and you'll be kind of pulling the screen apart. You can just pluck some of those things out or trim them with scissors afterwards. As you can see, I've got almost the whole thing done now. And if you want, you can save the screen I'm only using hot glue to hold the, the Lexan in place since if you cut it to the right size it will actually sandwich in between but you'll be able to reuse this. I'm not planning on it so it's going in the garbage. Right. I'm not sure how much of that I missed but what I did was traced out the frame on the inside. I lined up the outer edge, these outer two edges on on the frame like this
Then I added a quarter inch to the outside of it and drew these other lines that hopefully you can see here. And these are the lines I'm going to cut on. They're going to be here. To do that, I always recommend using a straight edge and then a sharp knife and you just score it a couple times. Oh, and I went off a little bit. Not stay along the straight edge. And once it's been scored a couple times, you should be able to kind of break it along that that seam by bending it, and then you can see it kind of pop. Now you just run the blade. We're gonna go the other way. We're gonna go from underneath. If anybody's done drywall, pretty much the same idea. You just run that along. There we go. Now we do it to this other part. So we'll put this on here. Get our edge lined up. And slice. You don't push super hard, just let the tip the tip of the blade kind of dig in a little bit. And that will get you going. And then just slowly bend it. You can start at an edge, and you can get it to kind of pop. And then you just work it along. Now it's just the protective film protect you know holding it together. So slice that off, set that aside. Now comes the fun part. We're going to mark our holes. So I don't usually go all the way to the, the edge, but what I'll do is I'm going to put some marks at the top and the bottom. So this thing's roughly eight and a quarter inches. So we're going to come in I'm going to come in one inch, and that'll be my first hole. And I'll come in an inch on this side. And what I'll do is I'll probably put them every, about roughly every one inch. So we can draw lines down. And those spots. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just like having nice, evenly spaced holes. Um, actually, don't even look at them that often, but just knowing that they're all hodgepodge kind of drives me nuts. But if you don't mind, the spiders don't mind, then so be it. Eventually, I'll probably have to break down and just make a template for this to make it easier. As I, uh, keep upgrading enclosures. Okay, so now we got the lines there. Now we need to do the lines going this way. So what we have to work with is about 10 inches on the inside of it. So we're going to do every inch starting one inch in and we will do the same thing. Then we'll draw the lines again. I think the, the second one I'm going to do, I'll just use this one as a template before I glue it in. Hopefully my, my grandma stole Rosea isn't trying to escape because I robbed the lid off of her cage to put on the new arboreal, the pink toe. So I was more worried about that one climbing up than my really old, practically ancient Gramostola Rosea. I'm not fully certain how old she is, but the older gentleman that I got her from, who was unable to take care of her any longer, said that she was about 30 years old. I'm not sure how factual that is. All right. So all those are done. 
Now the fun part. Wherever these lines cross, you can see on there, is where I'm going to drill a hole. I'm going to do quarter inch holes on this, on this one. I typically work myself from left to right and then down. And when you do this, I always recommend doing it on a board, something to back it. And it doesn't take much to get through this lightweight Lexan, which I think is probably 16th of an inch. It's 030 for a thickness. Now that I made a big mess, see, I got all the holes drilled. Now that that's done, um, same thing applies to the one in the back, though the one in the back I haven't been drilling holes into. Looks like I just need to trim this one down a little bit. We can go ahead and glue this piece in first since I'm not putting holes on it. What you want to do is make sure you get the protective layer, which is on both sides on this particular sheet. Make sure you peel it off. Nice and clear now. Should be clean of dust and all that. So what I do is line that up on there where I want it. And I don't have power on this table or a plug close, so I've got a hot glue gun behind me. And since this one is almost out, pop that in there. And usually just kind of start peeling it up a little bit, make sure it's good and hot. And then wind up and push it down on there. Just got to be quick enough that it doesn't set before you get all the way around. As I will sometimes put a little bead on the top side in the corners. Just to give it a little something on the top as well. Line it up and it should fit in there nicely. If you can see that. But pretty much perfect. Now, this is the fun part. You're working with much larger area. Now, since the edge of the enclosure will help hold these side edges, I try to focus on starting with this back part. Trying to get a good bead of glue on it. We're quickly setting it down. Now we're going to try to work from this corner back to this spot. I'm worried about getting all the way to that spot, but. You do the same thing on this one where you just Get a little bit of glue on the in the corners along the edges just to kind of help make sure it stays on. There we go. That is how you do that. Now we got a nice safe cover for our enclosures. And that's not going anywhere, not coming off. Good to go. All right. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Um, I will try to find a link. It's been a long time since I bought this Lexan, but I'll try to find a link, put it in the in the description below. That way, if anybody is wondering or wants to do this themselves, or if you have any questions, just let me know. Leave a comment below, and we'll see you next time.